Hi, my name is Katrina and this is Cat and Moon Budgets. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Um, if you've been here before, just say hey. Um, today we're going to go over my budget breakdown for my paycheck that I got. Well, it got deposited yesterday, but it's for today from my nursing job. Please forgive me, my voice is trying to leave me when I need it the most. I've been, I was sick all day yesterday. I had food poisoning from Domino's Pizza because an hour after I ate it, I got really sick. And now I'm losing my voice. So that's fun. Um, hopefully it's just like a cold and nothing serious, but my allergy to dairy products, I think, kind of triggered it too, so that's not easy in the full moon. But anyway, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, on my worksheets that I have on my Etsy shop is where I got these. I made these off of the Budget Mom <clears throat> worksheets. Um, so I budgeted $1,200. My actual was $1,800. I had 740 rollover budgeted. I had 616 actually. Reimbursements would be $32 because it got deposited today in my bank account for my kid's dad for their school fees. Um, so that gives me 1940 on the budget side. We're not doing the actual yet. So my bills. I have rent and water. I already have rent set aside um, that I was supposed to put back in my account to make my rent payment and I didn't and I'm not too far below what I thought I would be so I'm going to keep it that way until I need it. So I'm only going to deposit $60 into that savings account just so I don't spend it. Hulu is going to be 16 Apple 6 Apple Storage is 1 These are always the same. My charter is 85 Part of my phone is 81 I feel like you guys can't even really see that. Let me just a little more. Okay, my Alliant is my energy i'm splitting that in half and that's 40. my credit cards i'm splitting that up between my different paychecks and that's 40 and then patreon is 15. um so that totals out to 344 which leaves me with 1596 dollars so that's actually pretty good so far and then this next section is my like envelopes that i keep in my wallet when i go shopping so gas, I'm budgeting out $100 this paycheck. Um, that just seemed like a really good amount. Like, yeah, I'll probably have rollover, but that way I'll have extra if I need it. Because um, I don't know what gas prices are going to do. Household, I have $75. Um, that just seems like a good number to keep because I've been, like, replacing things if it's not the one I thought it was, like, toilet paper issue I had. So I'm just going to budget over budget for that. Toiletries is 30, over-the-counter meds is 30, because I'm probably going to need more cold meds. Um, prescriptions is 10, and that'll last me the whole month probably, because my insurance right now with having Badger Care is secondary. Um, my prescriptions, I only have to pay for, like, my Ajovi one and a couple of my other ones, I think. Um, so drinks, this is a new category I'm doing. This is my guilt-free drink spending, and that's $40 for two weeks. Eating out, I'm going to put 60 um, hobby, I'm going to put 80 and then office is 40 because I'm going to need printer ink pretty soon. So that's 465 for that categories. And then that leaves me with $1,131. So we're going to scoot this over. Um, so then my next one is my sinking funds. And these are like my savings that I do. So I decided to, I had to backtrack this of like what's coming up that's more important for me to pay. So like I ended up doing the oh shit category last. So that's going to be 250, which you can't even see what I'm talking about. Okay. So oh shit's going to get 250. Car maintenance is going to get 250. Christmas is going to get 20. At least birthday is going to get 60. And I calculated how much I had saved. Um, cause I have a page in the back, I'll show you in a minute of all of my sinking funds and the balance at the end of August. And then I just took how much time is left divided by the amount to get what I needed to put in. So, um, Christmas is 20, but Lee's birthday is 60 cause that's next month already. And I'm going to have to do his party on the 21st. Um, our family wizard is going to get eight. Disney plus is getting 15 cause that's a yearly subscription. Home is going to get 50 which I think I'm going to cancel the Disney Plus and just do it monthly 
because the kids haven't been watching it. Like, nobody's been watching Disney+. Plus. Like, I've been doing Hulu and Netflix, but not the Disney. So I might just get rid of that one. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But um, Disney's 15. Home is, like, furniture, organizational things. Because there's still things we need around here to make it more functional for us. And so I'm going to put 50 in there. Renter's insurance is 20 and then car payment, I'm trying to set that aside with my income to work up towards paying my car every month. So I'm adding that in there now. And that came out to $763 total. So it left me with $368. And so we're going to put $60 towards student loans because they'll start back up. And that's a double payment pretty much. And then an extra card payment is 40 So that's $268 left over. And then I'm going to put that in my checking account buffer just in case things happen or I need to use it for something unplanned. So that's 268 and then that'll equal out zero. So that's my plan. Um, when I do my next budget breakdown, I wanna start doing like the updates on how well I stuck to my budget and everything like that. So I'm gonna come back and um, add in things that were unplanned or that kind of thing. So that's kind of like what the buffer is gonna take place of is like those unplanned uncategorized um categories and such like that so this is my plan um I don't know how well I'm going to stick to it but I'm going to try my hardest because I've been picking up extra hours to get that overtime pay just so I can rebuild up my sinking funds and everything like that from when they got really really depleted so that's all I have for you guys today if you like this video there's my voice. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to comment, subscribe, share this out to your friends who you think may need it. And let's just keep growing this channel and keep being consistent. Um, I will come back probably Monday and do a sinking fun video because I work all day tomorrow and all day Sunday. So I'm doing doubles and I won't be home to do them. So I'll have to go to the bank today and pull that money out, which kind of freaks me out. Actually, I think I'm going to wait for Tuesday for that. No, I'm going to have to go to the bank because I'm going to have these money. Okay, so I just figured that out. I'm going to have to go to the bank today before I go to work and pull out some of this money. So that way, from like an ATM or something, so that way I can have it if I need it. So there will be a cash stuffing video in the near future. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And I will catch you guys in the next video.